symptoms of addiction in the older adult population can be a challenge, uh, not only for the healthcare providers to identify, but also for family members and friends who are uh, closer to them. And the reason for that is that many of the symptoms of addiction could mimic uh, symptoms of common medical illnesses, such as uh, heart disease, uh, COPD, uh, uh, coronary artery disease, or even something like dementia. The first thing that must happen to, to get a clear picture is to remove all mood altering agents, alcohol, opioids, sedative, hypnotics. Some of the things that we have to consider are uh, not only their age, uh, the generation that they grew up in, and how that might impact the way they think, perhaps their rigidity of thinking, and also to get past uh, the many, many decades of preconceived notions. Because they are older, uh, they have been exposed to many ideas, and uh, sometimes those ideas are very seated deeply in their minds, so that we need time to be able to kind of change that so that it would be more conducive to a sustainable recovery. Family members are often very involved in getting their older adult uh, family members to treatment. Our medical and nursing oversights are pretty heavy uh, to ensure very intense medical and nursing care as well as to ensure this, their safety while they're in treatment. Regardless of their age, they have something very valuable to contribute, not only to our society, but to their, to their family dynamics. And with proper treatment and medical care, they are able to re-engage in their family life and be uh, part of their children and their grandchildren's life and to enjoy life fully. So it is never too late to get help.